Hello, and welcome to Fridays with Brandon. Today what we're gonna be talking about is some proving units, or it can be a live known source for you. Anyways, today is episode number 50 of Fluke Fridays, and interesting enough, I wanted to plan something big and special for uh, episode 50, but life happens. We had a daughter get injured this week, and just life happens. So what ended up happening is, you're gonna get this video instead. So maybe another time, maybe at 75 or 100, I'll do something special. But what we're gonna talk about today is some tools that could help save your life, and that's special enough, right? So these are proving units. If you're not already familiar with them, uh, we're gonna go talk through why somebody would buy these and what they care about. I actually was able to attend a arc flash training this week, and a really great instructor, and he was talking specifically about the uh, these proving units and why customers should use these. So um, wh what these are, let me describe what they are. They, they are your, your live known source. So this can be your outlet. When you're doing a live dead, live check with your, uh, with your meter to make sure your meter is working and that you have an absence of voltage, you first have to make sure your meter's working. So you lock out, tag out, you turn something off, right? And you don't want to just assume that the, no, the electricity is there. You actually want to measure and make sure there's no electricity there. And we don't want to just assume that our meter worked because it worked the last time we used it. So what we want to do is we want to take our meter, put it in the right setting, put the test leads in the right area, and go and measure a live known source, an outlet or something else, 120 volt source or some other voltage source. You measure that voltage, then you go to your unknown voltage that you just turned off, then you go back to your known voltage again which is great if you're in an office environment, you've got lots of uh, outlets nearby, it's not a problem. The problem becomes if you are not in an office location, if you're in part of a plant where the whole plant is shut off, or you're working on parking lot lights and you think you turned off the parking lot lights, but you're up in a uh, man lift and you're, you've got all these wires about to be exposed before you start unscrewing uh, what do you call it? And before you start unscrewing the wire nuts, are you going to verify an absence of voltage? Well, you're supposed to before you start touching the shiny objects, but most likely you're not gonna be able to test this because you're not gonna get down off your man lift, go find an outlet inside the building, come back out and whatnot. So you just say, oh, my meter probably works and we move forward. Lots of people get shocked every year because they assume that the there is no voltage present. These allow you to take this up in that man lift or wherever you might be and have a live known source so you don't have to go find an outlet. I always say safety is something that if it's easy and convenient, I'll do it. And if it's not, I probably won't. And this is something that could really save your life. So let's look at the two different uh, proving units from Fluke and why you would want one versus the other and what the benefit is and how you actually use it. So we'll jump down to the uh, work table, kind of look at these. <clears throat> so we have two different units. We have the first one that came out, the PRV240. And kind of what you see here is it comes with a magnet pack powered by four AA batteries. You've got a toggle here that goes up or down. And you can see up is DC, down is AC, and that's gonna be the voltage that it outputs. There's no on off button. Uh, the way you turn it on or off is actually initiating the contacts by pushing the test leads down into here. And I'll demonstrate what that looks like with my T6 here. And this method could be used with any multimeter out there. So yellow on yeah, or red on red, black on black. You push down, you'll see a green light turn over here, green LED, and then you see it's not quite, this one's not quite 240 volts, but it's close enough. That's what you want. It doesn't matter that it's exact. What matters is that you are getting AC voltage. So let's look at that one more time. You click this, you see AC voltage. Now I toggle this, do the same thing, LED light on, DC voltage, okay? So that is the proving unit. This can work with any meter on the market. You could use it with uh, competitor meters, fluke meters, it doesn't matter, this can do that um, and can really help save it and have a live known source for you away from an outlet that you have to find. 
Now, this one, the PRV240FS, what that is different is we have this post on here, okay? And this is designed for the T6 to slide around because we know the T6 has non-contact voltage built into it, okay? So how do we test that non-contact voltage? Using this post. This one, you really don't need if you are only if you don't have a T6. But if you do have a T6, you can use it both for the T6, the split jaw, and you can use it for just like the other proving unit. <laughs> so how would this work? Again, you have a toggle, but instead of it being on the side, you have it right here in the center, and you have AC voltage. The DC voltage is kind of tricky, but you can get it there. DC voltage or field sense, okay? So we'll start just like the other one. We'll do AC voltage, and we're gonna, it's, again, no on-off switch. When you push down, that's what initiates it. So we do red with red, black with black. We push down, we see LED, green LED light on over here. Yeah, I don't know if I could, if I pointed that all out. Okay, green LED light, and you see 240 volts. AC. We shift it to DC and we do the same thing. Green LED light. Now oh, this one's a little high on the 256 volts. DC. Okay. Then we go to field sense. We got a couple options on field sense. This is a T6 Pro so it doesn't have a finger pad on the back. But if you had a T6-1000 or a T6-600 you can put your finger pad on the back here. I'll represent that by actually holding the black lead with this hand, right? Sliding it over this and then holding this button down. Now, you've got this in field sense up here. You hold this button down. Oh, you do have to have your meter in field sense mode. There we go. We hold this down. Green LED light right there. Green LED light and 2436 volts. Okay, that's one way you can do it by pushing this down, that initiates it. Or you can take your black common lead, slide this over here, and then push this down. And again, same exact thing. Okay, so you now you know how both the PRV240 and the PR. V240FS for field sense works. The other thing you can do with the FS version is if you have a volt pin, one of those little pins that you can put in outlets and stuff and you want to test that it's working, you can actually hold this button down, the same button, and hold the volt pin up next to it and it'll go off because it generates the same uh, magnetic waves or magnetic field that the voltage does. So that's kind of cool. Um, Anyways, one is, I think, around $200, one's $30 less or something right now as of, what is it, April 29th, 2022. But, yeah, let me know below. If you've never seen this before, let me know in the comments below. If you have seen it and you chose not to buy it, let me know in the comments below. If you do own one and you think it's useful, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I hope this is helpful. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and uh, next week we'll bring in May. So you guys have a great one. We'll t you take care.